Hey, what's going on guys? This is me, Sin. Welcome to my Cyber Dragon Trap testing featuring the new support. So, I actually haven't made a testing video in a while. And yeah, I mean, let's uh, let's get into it. It's gonna be really enjoyable. <laughs> Game 1 is against a deck that doesn't exist uh, because the thing is I'm stupid. And on EDO Pro, I don't really care if my opponent is using OCG Banist or TCG Banist. It's like, ah, eh, for the most part, there's not a big difference. I don't really mind getting maxied. But what I do mind is my opponent using Master Plan Effect 10 times in one turn, and this guy's playing freaking Spiral, and yes, they actually have more than one field spell, last res uh, resort or something, so it's pretty pretty horrible, and uh, he's actually also, a, I mean, a decent player, he knows that uh, Called by the Grave should be used on the core, so I can't even resolve this overload, I can't really do much. This Magician Souls has the potential to be pretty dreadful if he can actually unbreak, but don't worry, because obviously I want to use this overflow so I can actually use the Cyberload, and then, okay, this is the thing, so at this point I knew he was playing Spiral, so I was like, dude, should I actually use the effect of Rampage to destroy his trap, because it could actually be the trap card that Monstery borns a monster from the graveyard but my thought process was if it's not that trap card and I didn't destroy it I'm going to regret it but if it is the trap card then it's okay because I have the dragon punishment to destroy whichever monster well master plan he summons and I don't mind him getting multiple searches because I know for a fact that I have game anyways so it's completely okay so and besides it's a freaking cross out designator so I'm like ah, okay <laughs> anyways he ashes the rampage so this is again a big I feel like I kind of messed up here. I, f I should have used the emergency first and just to make him tunnel vision in a way He might have been tempted to ash the, the emergency and then I would have been able to use the rampage And in case you don't really know why this is relevant is because ashing the rampage is a two-for-one Not only do I not send hurts and something to get a recursion or a surge But also I don't get the two extra attacks. So I'm missing out on 4200 damage for no reason I definitely messed that up, but I guess it's not the end of the world because my opponent is literally on top deck mode against uh, <laughs> three trap cards. G good luck, yeah, good luck, especially when you have a drone. So this is the thing with Spiral, if it doesn't really draw too well, it can't really do anything. Adjusting my deck doesn't do anything, and of course, Solemn Strike on the double heal. Uh, sorry, Super Agent, into the scoop. So that's it for replay number one, let's get into replay number two. Alright, so now this is... <laughs> oh my god, this is going to be... Uh, this is going to be interesting, man. My opponent is playing Dragoon of Red Eyes, and did you notice something? Did you notice something? Did you actually notice it? My opponent has a Dark Magician in the hand and a Dark Magician in the graveyard. <laughs> and he, he has two Red Eyes Wyvern. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, bro, the, the, yeah, I mean, I, I guess. But the thing with this deck is that it's so unrealistic. The only way you win is if you make Dragoon turn one with a really good hand. Because the amount of breaks and bad cards... Bro, he plays three Dark Magician. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hey, that reminds me, someone actually told me, like, uh, oh yeah, sometimes I, uh, there was a time where I saw someone have um, Salamandrid Sanctuary in the hand, on the field, in the graveyard, with a terraforming and set rotation or something in the graveyard too. It's like, imagine loving Salamandrid Sanctuary that much. People draw one sanctuary and they complain like there is no tomorrow, and the guy was like, no, I want to see it. Like, I, I, like, I want to see it. It's, it's a... Uh, it's the best f field spell ever. Anyways, the guy scoops because uh, he can't do anything. <laughs> so, uh, beautiful. Let's get into the next one. All right, this was pretty pathetic. My opponent played uh, Resonators. And it's funny because, honestly, you, you, th this trap card's so stupid, man. If you control a level 8 or higher synchro monster, banish all monsters on the field, okay? Except the monsters with the highest level, also the remaining face-up monsters on the field are unaffected by other card effects except their own until the end phase. Bruh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> so you already have like a huge interruption and the card that banish everything, everything, and also your monster is unaffected, and also I'm under the pressure of him having an engine, so I'm, I'm like, okay, 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 I mean, if you, if you say so. But yeah, no, I mean, uh, the freaking trap card, so I kept Ice Dragon's Prison, I'm so glad I didn't just banish this for no reason like a moron. And yeah, I Torrential, but it doesn't really do that much, I take 55 to the face, <laughs> oh my god, this hurts. If I use this core and he negates, I instantly win the game because I can Solemn Strike it, so... Uh, yeah, it was a really nice play for him to not actually banish my core. 
because it's actually kind of similar to the Tenyi Berserker thingy. But anyways, now I Ice Dragon's Prison. Now this is kind of bait because I have other trap cards and I can't use them since the Ice Dragon, well, I mean the trap trick restricts me to one trap for the rest of the turn. But I mean, he passes turn anyways and this is hilarious. Oh my, you look at this man. Cyberload into Rampage, okay. Rampage pop my overflow. Look at this man. Ash the overflow. I'm gonna be like, strike. <laughs> yes. Search and merge. This is so crafty, man. When Rampage destroys your own overflow, you know you're cool, okay? So now I send the Hurts and the Fear, and I go normal, chain link 1, chain link 2, and then, of course, at this point, it's, like, really, really hard to lose. I can make Seeger, and I, uh, I have 12,600 damage with two cards in hand. Happy Land City, beautiful. Let's get into the next one. All right, so I'm actually against heroes this time. Okay, I mean, uh, I mean, if, if, if you say so, the guy's going first. He has a pretty insane hand. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I don't, I don't really know how come heroes actually need so many cards to. I don't know. I, I, I just feel like he did something that was a bit. It was this correct? I don't know. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Like I feel like I don't know. I mean, it has to summon a vision hero. Yeah, no, he didn't list play or anything, but. Uh, yeah, I just feel like that's a subpar board, honestly. I mean, this guy doesn't do anything. And then the Shining, I mean... Oh, and by the way, this was a prime example of learn how to read because the Shining actually... <laughs> it actually has to uh, be... It's, it's like an optional one effect to recycle back two of your banished elemental heroes. So if you actually destroy this on Shining Tour higher, it's not going to get anything. But the guy has the freaking mass change anyways. I didn't know it, so I couldn't really play around it. And uh, he eats my Solemn Strike. Pretty skillful at the game. I mean, honestly, it didn't really matter. All the cards were pretty much identical. I obviously don't want to make a Seeger. That would be stupid because this kind of punishes me really hard. I don't know why the guy randomly twin twistered on no like out of nowhere. Uh, it just kind of felt a bit weird. And he's so lucky, man. He twinned the two cards that weren't overflow. Like what? <laughs> it's insane. So I'm like, okay, I mean, I have to destroy your other cards. And I have to do something about that sunrise because it's kind of scary. And obviously, I mean, I I won't let him to, uh, I, I won't actually let him banish. And this is the beautiful two for one, man. I banished the increase from his graveyard and the sunrise. So yeah, he doesn't have anything at all. And yeah, normal, whatever, search. And I'm going to inflict 67, I think, if I'm not bad at maths. So he should have 1300 life points left. Indeed he does. And I'm just gonna make Seeger pass. This was incorrect. I shouldn't have done that. And the guy is really good at the game. So he top stacked the freaking monster he born. Now, my interruptions don't line up well against this because he can actually search something like this and he didn't use his normal summon yet. So using the overflow on the Vion uh, just to pretend, prevent him from using the polymerization access would be kind of dumb. And this was so stupid, man. I, I can't believe someone actually plays Fusion Substitute in the hero deck. This is super wrong, by the way. I feel like you should definitely only play polymerization. This card is a huge brick. But also, I... I, I, I don't know, apparently I'm really stupid and I don't know how to read. I had no idea that this card <laughs> actually allowed you to draw a card even when you don't control a fusion. For some reason, I actually thought you had to control a fusion to use that graveyard effect, so uh, I'm stupid, but it's my fault. What I actually should have done here was before he even used the fusion substitute, destroy two, and then he would have passed turn, I would have attacked for game. But because of that, I let the fusion substitute hit in the graveyard. I was like, I didn't even know that he did that. And the guy obviously top deck fusion destiny, which is the only card that can save him. So <laughs> yeah, and another one of my misplays, well, this was out of tilt, especially. I didn't check my graveyard before using the trap trick because I actually used uh, two ice dragons prison prior and that was the only card I had access to. And I was so used to always playing with Compose that uh, I thought I still had Compose Rise Dragon's Prison left in my deck, but uh, I didn't have any options, so I had to pass here. Fusion Substitute obviously has to destroy whichever card you summoned. I don't know why Torrential here. I thought that he could actually have a mass change that he would use in Chilling 2 because Torrential cannot be used on summons that are Chilling 2 or higher. So I wanted to Torrential before the, uh, he had the opportunity, but obviously not because he said the card first. And this is an Imperial Order anyways, but at this point it's obvious that I win. Imperial Order just doesn't work here. I have Overflow, so if I just search my next year and then I revive back the Rampage, multiple attacks, this game is over, but this game should have taken like way less time because I don't know how to read and I thought that fusion substitute required you to have a fusion on the field so I'm stupid learn to read anyways next replay all right this is going to be pretty confusing my opponent is playing prank kids okay I mean by the way everything is supposed to be a one card combo so I don't really understand why he's actually going to be using more cards from his hand but it's it's all right instant fusion no I'm pretty sure that's not where you're supposed to use instant fusion but okay 
feel like you should always try to hold your instant fusion for very, 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 very late in the combo. Anyways, now he gets uh, whatever all of his effects. It doesn't really matter too much. Oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> and also, I don't know why he summoned this, because he already used the effect. Feel like, yeah, no, that that was definitely wrong. I mean, yeah, and then set two, whatever, forbidden job, pandemonium. Uh, yeah, I mean... It's, it's looking really bad for him. I can just contact Fuse and then search for Cyber Dragon. I have a I have a really good hand, honestly. Well, not a really good hand because I didn't have Core as my normal summon, but it's it's okay. I didn't want to like discard the Hurts and give him information of my deck. I wanted to set and contact Fuse in the like in uh, you know in the shadows. I didn't want him to know that I played Cyber Dragon because otherwise he would have used a quick effect to recycle back from the graveyard. So yeah, would have been really 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 bait. But anyways, now Monster Reborn. I have a bunch of interruptions that I'm obviously not going to use right now because the Prank Kids deck only needs one card to get its, uh, itself started. So why would I interrupt them right now? It's really dumb. So I just let him play as much as he wants to. I feel like regardless of what he does, he loses. He really can't go for a push that actually personally scares me because he's under the pressure of a Red-Eyes Black Dragon. And now, yeah, you see, all I have to do is just to wait, like uh, hold my cards for a really long time, destroy this, and like... It, it's a time limit up, but there was honestly not a single way he won. I mean, he really didn't have anything going for him. Top deck terraforming, but it doesn't really matter. I have just, I have everything I need. So yeah, it, it's really game over. Anyways, let's get into the next one. This again was also pretty pathetic. So, <laughs> I, my God. So I went Horizon. Obviously he ashes. So it's it's kind of bad, but at least I had the Hurts as a discard. If I had like Cyber Dragon or Fear or Nexter or Dry, it would have been horrible. It would have been a two for one because obviously I had to send mo two monsters with different attributes. So I wouldn't be able to send the Hurts. And now, I mean, whatever. Oh my god, also called by the Grave. I should have freaking set the Hurts. I don't know why I didn't. Now I woke up to the fact that I should have because I, f I forgot that I had the Hurts in the graveyard. So if it dies, it's kind of like the Dante loop where you can always recycle back the same card. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's not the greatest loop, but it's still a loop regardless. And now he summons the Forerunner, <laughs> which obviously I can contact Fuse with, and I can do a bunch of things with this Forerunner. So now, summon Cyber Dragon and then contact Fuse, whatever, recycle back, obviously has the call by the Grave. I can't do anything about it because I don't have Overflow access, otherwise I would have been able to uh, pretty much play around that uh, call by the way. Well, through it, in a way. Well, kind of. Well, I mean, not really, but yeah, kind of. Anyways, yeah, the uh, Rampage destroy obviously has the call, <laughs> call of the Hunted, which is like the worst case scenario for me, because now he's going to be able to summon the Tin Can. Actually, not the end of the world, because uh, I can just destroy with Dragma Punishment, so it really doesn't do a thing. And yeah, I mean, I also have another Dragon Punishment. Top deck, Dark Destroyer, doesn't quite cut it. And uh, it, it needs two tributes, so he really cannot play the game whatsoever. I won this one, let's get into the next one. All right, another Resonator Red Dragon Archfiend deck, but this time he actually completely bricked, which is funny because on paper, this looks like a good hand. I mean, you can make Needle Fiber and you have Monster Reborn and Caught by the Grave, so... What? But I mean, I, I guess he doesn't play Needle Fiber? I, I, I don't really know. He's He has an objection with playing good cards. I mean, I respect, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's a good card. At least uh, Panther Warrior uh, version 2.0. Uh, I strike the summon of this guy because it's an extender, but obviously he has a monster reborn. So I was like, wait, what? The How come you... Uh, sure, it it's okay. Yeah, it's, it's all right. It's not like you were scared of hand shops because you had the call by the grave anyways. And yeah, I'm going to Ice Dragon's prison his ass right now. I have another trap trick, so that's kind of too much. Banish two fiends. He summons this, which doesn't do anything. Ancient Pixie Dragon, not the best card. Uh, called by the grave on the core right now. Mm, I don't really know why, because now I have a lot of knowledge. I know that you don't have a single interruption yet uh, left. And I'm kind of ready to just explode, really. I can, I really have game, like right now. I can just go Overflow, Banish, the second Sidra. So now the Cyber Lord can use two monsters from the Banished. And if you're good at maths, this is 12,600 damage. So that's it, that's all. This is how I managed to win it all. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, I mean, if you guys have any comments, feedback, or anything, please let me know in the comment section below. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And don't forget to like and subscribe because I'm going to be smelling to keep making videos like these. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.